Hey, what's going on everybody? So if you remember, I uh, bought that 88 uh, jet ski, the Yamaha, and we went out and ripped it for, I don't know, maybe like 15, 20 minutes. Well, opened it up today. I come out to clean it. I'm going to wax it and stuff. And uh, it's got a lot of water in it. So I'll show you what I'm going to do. I am going to make a homemade bilge pump. So you can see all the water in there. So we got a pump that I took that I had out of an old camper. Toggle switch. Lint trap for the end. A couple fittings for the end of that. And then this, I'm going to have, I'm going to drill a hole in it somewhere. Have it shoot out. And then my hose. So, all right, I'll take you guys along with me. All right, first we're gonna mount this right here. This is the toggle switch. I kind of feel bad drilling holes in a 1988. But I don't think we're supposed to have all that water in there. <laughs> Look at that, they make it for dummies. It's got a little groove where the, where the off is. Oh yeah. Can't see around your sausage fingers. Okay. All right, so I had to order a new Amazon pump because the other one wasn't working right. So this one here is the one that we're gonna use and I also am going to put a smaller diameter hose on the inlet, a little better suction. So I lost my camera, lady. So I'm just going to do things and then show you what I did afterwards. So, here we go. So this is what I used for the inlet. Just a vent sock, basically, is all it is. I don't even know what it goes to. Maybe like a dryer or something. It's a lint trap of some sort. I don't know, it was at the hardware store and I figured it'd work for a filter. All right, this is what we got so far. So I don't got it wired up yet, but I got it mounted and that's where we're gonna put it, right there. So I got my hose going down there. I still gotta shorten that up a little bit. I got my uh, exit right there. So I don't know if that's a good spot, but that's gonna have to work. It's really the only spot I could figure to mount this thing. So there's the exit, just a piece of conduit, uh, whatever that's even called, just a, yeah, piece of conduit stuff. <laughs> so there's that. All right, I'm going to wire it up and then uh, I'm going to turn it on for the first time live. Look how sturdy this is. All I did was zip tied it in, like it's sturdy there and then another one over there but this is what's really holding it in i think right here the the outlet so she ain't going nowhere good to go all right here we go so again toggle switch right there there's my wires it ain't beautiful but it works so I just ran it down there is a pump out of a camper you can see my inlet hose is down there in the water and there's my exit right there she ain't pretty ready to go Perfect. Literally perfect. There's a lot of water in there for only running this thing for 20 minutes. Like a lot of water. So, I'm glad I did this or when we go to the lake this weekend. It might have sunk. Because I would have never thought to open this thing up. Wow. Okay. Here we go. Let's get 
buttering now. So we're gonna call that good. It works. I don't want to kill the battery. I don't know how much juice this thing takes. I'm assuming a little bit. All right, now we're good. All right. It even keeps us prime. That's good. Perfect. All right. Success. Remember, comment, like, subscribe, and jump on the Hulk Off Road. Uh, um, website hawkoffroad.com get you some merch thanks for watching hope everybody has a good day later